Callisto, the second largest moon of Jupiter and the outermost of the Galilean satellites, possesses an ancient and heavily cratered surface, indicating a lack of active geological processes. However, scientists suspect that it might harbour an underground ocean. The potential habitability of this ocean is still being determined due to the moon's old surface, which raises questions about its ability to sustain such an environment. Callisto has been the target of multiple flybys, including the Galileo mission that extensively studied Jupiter and its moons during the 1990s and 2000s. Another upcoming mission called JUICE, Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, focuses on three icy Jupiter moons, including Callisto, to gather more information about their environments. JUICE is expected to reach Jupiter and its moons in 2030. With an estimated age of 4.5 billion years, similar to Jupiter, Callisto is the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. Its surface has experienced minimal geologic activity since the initial impacts that shaped it about 4 billion years ago. Regarding Callisto's habitability, the answer remains elusive due to disagreements about its internal structure. The debate revolves around whether Callisto is differentiated, meaning if its rock and ice components have settled into distinct layers. The stratification process observed in other celestial bodies suggests that the rock should settle beneath the ice. The presence and timing of an ocean formation would depend on the internal dynamics of Callisto. If an ocean exists, it would likely be buried beneath a thick ice shell, much thicker than that of Jupiter's moon Europa. While it is plausible that life could evolve and thrive in such conditions, the possibility remains uncertain and open to further exploration. Despite being sometimes considered the least interesting among the Galilean satellites, a notion that is both rude and inaccurate, Callisto boasts impressive impact craters. Valhalla, the largest multi-ring basin in the solar system, showcases massive concentric rings spreading out from its center like a colossal ripple. There is still much to learn about Callisto, and the possibilities it presents are truly exciting. NASA supports the existence of an underground ocean based on two pieces of evidence. First, fluctuations in Callisto's magnetic field were observed as the Moon orbited Jupiter, indicating the presence of electrical currents within the Moon influenced by Jupiter's magnetic field. The second piece of evidence is rooted in Callisto's rocky surface and thin atmosphere, suggesting a plausible explanation for the observed phenomena would be a salty ocean beneath the Moon's surface.